When I was seen out with my mum, everyone thought she was my new girlfriend. She always looked great, very much younger than her age. She looked fantastic right until the time that dementia really took hold. All too many of us know the devastating effect that Alzheimer's disease has. My mum suffered with dementia for nine years before she passed away last year. My sisters and I were slowly robbed of the vibrant woman we once knew, and the fact that nothing could be done to stop it was almost unbearable. That's why I'm appealing to you on behalf of the Alzheimer's Research Trust, because we must find ways to treat, prevent, or cure Alzheimer's and related dementias, and fast. As a mother, I don't think she can be faulted the way she looked after her children. There was always that closeness, and we knew we could go to no matter what. She always defended her daughters. Mary Crack was 59 when she began to show signs that something was wrong. She always loved making cakes, and suddenly she started getting all the recipes wrong, and the way she spoke, she repeat, you know, a bit of repeating. She'd go and see my sister, get lost. We'd be worried about her. Where is she? And we said, Dad, there's something is wrong. We've got to get her checked out. We got a specialist in who came and interviewed and talked to her. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. He said, I think your wife has probably got dementia. And next thing, we were having to help dress her, bath her. And then the incontinence kicked in. I mean, I'd get really frustrated with Dad saying, Dad, you need help. And Dad said, no, sickness and health. I'm here for Mum. My dad had a heart attack, and that changed things considerably. And I, I am convinced it's because of the strain of looking after my mother. Fortunately, Herbert made a full recovery. But sadly for the whole family, Mary had to move to a care home. I see her on a regular basis, three or four times a week, but there's no communication, and I think that's the hardest part for me. Here we go. Look at that. It's never an easy visit. She doesn't live, she exists. Okay. The good days when she smiles and nods her head, and the bad days when she's asleep. All right. I'll sort of flowers out. Last year, she was given six to 12 months to live, and by some miracle, she's still with us, and it's, you know, it's, it's like 18 months later. It never gets easier. We're in the best place today. It's not very nice out there. It's chilly, it's windy, and it's going to get wet. Mm, there we go. Seven hundred thousand people in the UK have dementia. And within a generation, that number is set to double. Yet research into the disease is desperately underfunded. The Alzheimer's Research Trust funds innovative and groundbreaking work by the UK's most promising scientists. Grant applications come in from researchers all over the UK and are assessed by the charity's scientific advisory board, chaired by Professor Simon Lovestone. There are two things that go wrong in the brain of people with Alzheimer's disease. One of them is called a plaque and the other is called a tangle. And they result, sadly, in the loss of brain cells and that's what gives rise to the clinical symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Nearly half of all people over the age of 85 are affected. So it's massive in terms of numbers, massive in terms of cost. Amazingly, but truthfully, the cost of looking after people with Alzheimer's disease costs this country more than the cost of cancer and heart disease combined. Research for Alzheimer's disease comes from a number of different sources, but the most important source of funding is the Alzheimer's Research Trust. I think we are at a pivotal point where we can really translate some of our basic discoveries to new treatments. It's going to be many years before these really fantastically exciting research yields for patients and makes a difference, but I'm convinced now that we will get there. And for that, we need more funding. 
the Alzheimer's Research Trust only funds the very best research. But, disappointingly, the charity has to turn down two-thirds of applications because of a lack of money. More work must be done so that the hope of a breakthrough for people with dementia can continue. Dementia most often hits us as we reach old age. So when Elaine Moody was diagnosed at the age of 52, it came as a real shock to her and her husband, Mick. It was just a kick in the teeth. I rather think with um, older people who, who have Alzheimer's, they're not probably fully aware that they've got the problem. Whereas, like I say, for every time Elaine can't do something or forgets something or, or can't remember which cupboard a particular pan is in, she just breaks down in, in tears because she knows why she can't do it and the problems that she's facing. It, it's nobody else's fault, is it? Nobody's fault, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. There's lots of other people who are going to come through it, aren't they? Despite her day-to-day -day problems, two years ago, Elaine took up running. And incredibly, earlier this year, she completed the London Marathon. Somebody said, I couldn't do it. I said, well, if I can do that, I can do anything. Well, obviously I can't, but that's what I say to myself. But, but why, why, why do you do the running? Because you know, I can. Hmm. It's, it's the only thing that I can do on my own. Researchers are now making significant progress, and it's essential to build on this to find a cure. With your help, the charity can carry on funding work like that of Dr. Kim Krishnan at Newcastle University. Ideally, my research will identify the mechanisms of Alzheimer's disease, give us a better understanding, and, and hopefully um, paint a brighter future for, for people with Alzheimer's disease. A donation of £25 will fund two hours of Dr. Krishnan's research. Oh, you're okay, Mum. You're doing really well. I can't remember the last time she said my name. I can't remember the last time she said, I love you. Elaine's very young, and there's a, an awful lot of people out there that are very young. And you just hope that there is the magic cure that's in the near future. Help make Alzheimer's a thing of the past so that people like Mary and Elaine don't have to suffer the cruelty and indignity of dementia. Currently, there's no cure. So those living with dementia and their families urgently need your support. Please help by calling 0800 093 9394 to donate to the Alzheimer's Research Trust. That's 0800-093-9394. To donate online, log on to their website at www.alzheimers-research.org.uk. Or, if you'd like to send a donation, please make your check payable to Alzheimer's Research Trust and send it to Alzheimer's Research Trust, Free Post, BBC Lifeline Appeal. Thank you.